My name is Lindsay McMillan, and I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I go to school at Miami University in Oxford, Ohio, and there I'm double majoring in mechanical and manufacturing engineering. I work in the research uh, photovoltaics and power branch at NASA Glenn, and my project title is Using Semi-Transparent Conducting Oxides to Develop a Transparent Solar Cell for Adaptive Window Application. I think I could only do this type of work here at NASA Glenn. I really love it, and the responsibilities and the challenges are more self-driven because uh, you don't have a professor saying, you know, you have to have this done by Thursday, or you have to have this figured out by a certain day, and uh, instead it's internal of if I saw something on the data that didn't make sense to me, how soon do I want to figure that out? So it's uh, more self-driven and I, I'm enjoying it. I take my classes a lot more seriously because I know that all of those little things that you learn, you can't just dispose of them after you finish the exam. So you know, you learn the laws and physics and you, you know, okay, I passed the exam, I'm fine. But when you get into the workforce and you're standing in the lab and they say, oh, you remember this law? It, it's helpful to know it. So all those things are important. I could see the correlation between what I had done my semester here and what I was learning in material science. So I, I value school more. My professors are in love with it, so I keep in touch with them and, and let them know what I'm doing. And they definitely support the research that I'm doing, and they're excited about it. Everyone's always curious to know what's going on at NASA. I've definitely acquired a lot of self-confidence from this internship. And I see it when I'm at school, in labs and in classes because I have no problem taking charge and figuring it out and getting my hands dirty. And I also learned mainly that it's okay to make mistakes. And before I would be afraid to get into something if you don't fully know what's going on, but in research in general, you don't know what your results are gonna be and that's why you're researching to begin with. I would say being in the undergraduate student research program has really helped me to grow as a person. Um, I've learned a lot about real life engineering and how to apply knowledge that I learned uh, at school and uh, it's been a great experience for me. I'm glad that I was a part of it. Having interns here is a, a great benefit to both us and to the interns. The interns learn about the technology we're working on and some equipment and skills that they can use uh, later on and back in school. And then we also get the benefit of having them here helping us out to achieve some of the work we're doing. Uh, plus, they're motivated. Uh, they come in with some energy and uh, some drive to want to do stuff, which also pushes us to go ahead and work a bit harder and to get some more stuff done. Um, so it really works out well for both of us. This is Lindsay's second internship here at the Photovoltaics branch. Uh, we're so excited to have her back. She's a very outgoing and energetic person who does some great work. We we're very excited also to now have her as a co-op and hopefully you know, a permanent member of the branch here in the future. Um, I've been having a great time working with all the machinery. I. You know, I feel like I'm learning a lot when I'm dealing with them. And at first, I came in and you know, my first day, and they're showing me these are all the places you're going to work on. And it's like, you know, I, I'll never figure it out and trying to memorize it. So I started out with a list of instructions showing me how to operate each of them. But as the time's gone by, I know not only how to operate them, but how to fix them and troubleshoot. So I've learned a lot, and uh, it's been a great experience. I'm working on an interdisciplinary team. We have a member from Texas. Uh, someone in England and then the two of us here at Glenn and rarely do we see each other naturally since the distance but uh, we work well together and it's been a huge learning experience as far as communication and teamwork but also sharing knowledge which is really important because they all have different areas of expertise. After this internship I plan to pursue graduate school and I'll be a co-op student so I'll actually research at Glenn Center and return to my university. And then ultimately after I finish graduate studies, I will work at Glenn. I'm making these solar cells because I'm trying to develop a transparent solar cell that can be applied to an adaptive window. And these windows are hopefully be able to um, alter the transmission into your home. So it can be dark when it's sunny outside and light when it's cold outside. Um, some of the most difficult things came as far as uh, the unexpected, because I'm a, I'm a planner and I like to know what things are happening, but uh, when the machines go wrong or something breaks, you're stuck in a real life situation, immediately, you need to respond immediately. So I've become a much better um, you know, quick thinker, I can think on my feet and uh, solve the problem immediately. And those were actually some of the most fun days. So it, it scared me when I was standing there and I have water dripping down a machine that I know has electrical wires inside and I'm flipping out. but 
at the same time I'd go home and say, man, today was awesome. You know, like we had sparks going and everything, but I learned a lot and you have to, you know, take care of the situation. And those were the days I grew the most. I'd say working here at Glen was the best decision I've ever made in my life. And it's been priceless. I learned how to apply the knowledge that I'm learning at school to you know, a real life application because you sit and you work in the textbooks and you wonder what does a real engineer do? What's it like in the real world? And I've had the opportunity to see that, but I've also had the opportunity to, you know, do real research and it's so validating to see, uh, you know, that I'm working on windows that will probably be in homes within 10 years and that's going to be a good feeling. I'm really excited for my next internship. Right now I've been working on the window and that's been a great project and I've learned a lot of the basics of photovoltaics but over the summer I'll get more in depth and actually start looking at more of a space application. So it'll be neat to convert from one to the next. I'm looking forward to it. I feel like moving on to the space it's kind of like a, a graduation into the bigger NASA responsibilities and with terrestrial applications there's you know some room for error and you know you can it doesn't have to be flawless per se, but when you're sending things to space, there's a certain amount of reliability, and uh, I think that'll require more from me as an engineer to be flawless in the work that I do. I think it's going to be a challenge, and I like challenges personally. So, um, and it's also it's beyond. It's you know it's outside of the box. So it's uh, it's going to help me to dream and grow as a person and as an engineer. So I'm looking forward to doing work that's so much greater than me.